The Biden administration also faces questions over thro troubling new images from the southern border. These are Border Patrol agents on horseback rounding up Haitian migrants who are seeking asylum in the U.S. Thousands of people are camped near a bridge in Del Rio, Texas, close to the Mexico border. Politicians from both parties are slamming the government response. Manuel Bajorquez is in Del Rio. Manuel, good morning. Good morning. Deportations are being sped up with one to three flights a day departing from the U.S. to Haiti and an additional 600 federal agents have been sent to this section of the border to help. But an incident involving Border Patrol on horseback has the Department of Homeland Security investigating. It is tragic and it is heartbreaking. After seeing the camp where thousands of mostly Haitian migrants are waiting near the U.S. border, Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas issued this stark warning. If you come to the United States illegally, you will be returned. And in one case, an agent on horseback can be seen grabbing the shirt of a migrant, appearing to whip him as he desperately tries to escape. No! But Mallorca's was also asked to respond to images like these. Border Patrol agents on horseback seen trying to keep migrants from crossing into the country. As one group tried to pass, an agent said this. Hey, you use your women? This is why your country... In a statement, a spokesperson for the Department of Homeland Security called the footage extremely troubling and said DHS is investigating the matter. Aquí en los Estados Unidos, how, how difficult was that journey? Some of the migrants who do qualify for asylum have been allowed in, like Ralder Valsan. And why did you leave? ¿Por qué saliste de Haití? Porque mi país no tiene buen seguridad. There's no security in Haiti. Sí, por eso salimos y a buscar más vida. Looking for a better life, una mejor vida. Sí. Javier Martinez Jr. is a lifelong resident of Del Rio. He says citizens in his city fear possible shortages of medical care. We are a population of 35,000 or more. Now we're accommodating over 10, 13,000 more. Uh, our, our little HEBs, our little Walmarts are not, uh, you know, at capacity for that. So our, our shelves are being a little empty now. Martina says the closure of the international bridge connecting Del Rio, Texas to Ciudad Acuña, Mexico is having an economic impact because workers from Mexico who are allowed to work here and cross daily into the U.S. are unable to do so and some businesses are finding it difficult to operate. Tony? Manny, thank you very much.